Welcome to Pat Patterson's Best of California. I'm in Camarillo and I get to go up in the air. This is incredible. I'm at the commemorative Air Force Aviation Museum, SoCal Wing. We're gonna visit the premier Camarillo outlets here. We're gonna to go to Adolfo Camarillo's ranch. And in the meantime, Steve Ryder's gonna come in and we're gonna go up. Yes, we are. This uh, World War II primary trainer PT-19 aviation experience. And, and anybody can come do this. So I'm gonna put on my helmet and we're gonna take off. Let's go. I'm Pat Patterson and I love California. So here in Camarillo and we are at the Commemorative Air Force Museum. This place is unbelievable and I'm nice enough to have uh, Ron Fleischman here with us, one of the volunteers. All volunteer museum, All right volunteers. Ron? All volunteers. Wow, and what you've created here and I know primarily people come to see what's behind us. Tell me about these planes. The Silver Airplane is a Navion. It's a, okay. uh, this is built by the North American people. Once upon a time there were a lot of people, there, but now there is no more North American Air, 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 Airplane Company. So we've restored it to look like an airplane as this, as an air base, it was based here. I got you. Uh, the marking on the tail is from the 414th Fighter Interceptor. You said one of these yeah, was in Tora, Tora, Tora? Yeah, the, the green airplane behind us is a replica Kate. When they made Tora, 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 there were no real Japanese airplanes. General <laughs> MacArthur, when he took over Japan, he didn't want any crazy kamikazes to get in one of the airplanes and, and do something. Yeah. Well, he rendered it inoperative, and then he said, destroy them all. Oh, wow. So the bad problem was, when they made the movie, they needed a Japanese fleet to attack Pearl Harbor. Wow. So they took uh, PT-19s and PT-17s and AT-6, old trainer airplanes, right. flew them down to Long Beach, and there was a company that spliced them, cut them, and welded them all together. Wow. Uh, voila, instant Japanese fleet. Great. Well, Ron Fleischman, thank you so much for doing this work. Thank you for coming. We I appreciate this, you this being here. This is amazing. So, Commemorative Air Force Museum here in Camarillo. You got to check it out. I'm with Sean Broadhead and Sean, what do you run here at the museum? I run the cadet program, the Commemorative Air Force SoCal Wing cadet program. And I was so excited to hear about that. So you're working with young people to yes. do what? Yes, we are to educate them, inspire them and to honor World War II and all veterans, but mostly to inspire these youth into aviation, okay. either careers, private pilots, or manufacture or maintenance thereof. So this could be the beginning of a job for them? It very well could be. For example, last weekend, we talked about lift theory in aviation. Okay. And so all Bernoulli's equation and how the you know STEM is behind it, yeah, the well, math behind it. It's the Bernoulli's mm -hmm. equation with the STEMs behind it. I mean, why would they need to l learn that? I mean, all of us know that. Because if they're if they're fixing to be a pilot or a mechanic, they need to know how an <laughs> aircraft is going to lift. <laughs> and I'm then glad. we took them over to a simulator, and we modified the pressure density variables. The and pressure density variables. You got to you got to love this guy. <laughs> Hold off on the science. That's that's Great, what I'll we, leave that's it to, what, leave that's what we other people. that's Thank what you, we keep Sean. the high school guys Thank sharp you. for. As a pilot. You know, it's important to understand these things yeah. because... I am glad you know, that the man that's taking me up in a plane knows all that stuff. You are correct. I, you are glad. correct. At our show, we had a World War II veteran sitting right there as part of the show. Yeah. Um, he was here as a visitor. And I point out to him um, that this museum is about him. Yeah. And every veteran yeah. that's ever been a veteran yeah. for us Keep that memory we, alive. We keep that going. Yeah. The, the easy part for me with the cadets program is the resources I have here. Isn't that great? I mean, I've got, I've got people. I literally have rocket scientists. I literally have Southern pilots California all over the all place. The yeah. I, I have people that have their own aircraft. I have people yeah. that built their own aircraft. I have people that have history that have forgotten more about some of the history than I'll ever know in my life. There we go. Some of our docents around here, and they know more about all these aircraft and everything about World War II. And all volunteers. That's and all amazing. volunteers. That's so, so and wonderful. I'm here with Jack Luter, and Jack is the uniform expert. And, and a weird thing happened is he and I were talking, and we figured out we were both in a movie together. What was the movie? Angels and Demons, directed by Ron Howard. 
Hollywood brings this together. Yes. Because what's behind us? This is a tank display. A tank from the Ronald Reagan Museum. The Ronald Reagan Museum. Mr. Hollywood himself, who who played a lot of officers. And, and he was. And he was, yeah. And, and, and Jack, you are in what uniform? What is this uniform? This is basic working khakis for, well, God, it must be 80, 95 in this place right, right now. Right, right. This would be the same as as it was when this was the airport. Yeah, what what branch is this? Air Force. This is Army Air Force. Army Air Force, there we so go. This was an Air Force base during yeah. World War II. Even more fun here at the museum, I'm with Steve Ryder and we're gonna go up in a plane. Tell me about this plane, Steve. This uh, Fairchild PT-19, it's a World War II trainer wow. and it's the primary trainer. We're, we're gonna have fun today. Yeah, we are gonna have fun, but yeah. this is a nice general airplane and it's made to train someone that has no flying experience wow. whatsoever. Wow. What's your background as a pilot? Um, well, I'm a naval aviator. Okay. And so my first takeoffs and landings were in the Navy and got over 200 carrier landings. And wow. So I did a fleet tour, anti-submarine warfare, and a new uh, Lockheed S3 Viking at the time. Wow. And then flight instructor Pensacola for naval flight officers that wow. would go in the F-14 or the A-6 or the S-3. Like wow. I wow. Well, first of all, thank you for your oh, service. Sure. Yeah, that's incredible. And is it my understanding the general public can come do this? Oh, absolutely. And oh my gosh. This is a flying experience museum, you know? Yeah, so, so can people that's exactly what it's it. for. So that was exciting. Steve Ryder got me up and down. What an experience here at the CAF SoCal Museum. You gotta check this place out. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for having me. It was incredible. Check this place out. More to Camarillo than I could have imagined. Talk to you soon. So let's take a quick break and check out my Best of California featured getaway. I'm so excited, we're here in Camarillo. This is beautiful. And I'm with Juliana Garcia, the president of Visit Camarillo. And we're at the Camarillo Premium Outlet Malls. This is huge, how many stores are here? We actually have 160 stores, brand names, amazing prices, something for the entire family. You'll find it right here. Wow, and this is, I mean, it just goes on and on and it's its close to everything. Yeah, yeah. it's the proximity right off the 101, so you can, you know, stop in, stay at our hotels, shop some more. I'm gonna finally get a new shirt. Yes. <laughs> so the other thing is that you have a plane history museum here. Tell me about that. Yes, we actually are home to the commemorative Air Force SoCal Wing, which is a very special and unique museum. Um, it houses, uh, they actually restore World War II aircraft, so military aircraft, and they fly. So you can actually take a ride in I those I mean, aircraft. anybody can. Anybody like any, can. Wow, wow. Great prices. They are so unique, rare planes that you don't really get to see everywhere. Yeah, and, and the name Camarillo comes from a person, as with most cities. Yes. Tell me about the ranch. Yeah, so Camarillo was founded by Adolfo Camarillo and his family. Um, they were ranchers, entrepreneurs, uh, and they really developed the city. And, and along with all the, the city founders, they were really responsible for you know getting Camarillo to where it's at now. And their legacy lives on. So lots to do here in Camarillo. Outlet Mall, great deals. I love the Air Force Museum. There's also this incredible ranch. I didn't know any of this existed. Visit Camarillo, you gotta stop as you're sailing down the 101. First stop outside of the grade, coming down. 
Last stop before you get into LA, Camarillo, check it out.